Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I'm going to be making some simple tortillas. You can use these as wraps. They are really super simple to make. As you know, bread today is not very easy to find in the grocery stores. Um, we pretty much got wiped out last week. Um, there still is not really any bread in the stores, so we've got to make our own. And it's really easy to do, and these are just simple tortillas, and you can use them as wraps. It's really simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're just going to start with about two cups of flour, and I'm not packing this, just two cups. And we're going to put that right in our bowl. And this is just all-purpose flour, what I have stored and in the house. And we're going to add just a half teaspoon of salt. Get that in there. We're also going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil um, in your stock, you can use uh, shortening or lard or coconut oil. They all will work. But I happen to have plenty of olive oil, so I'm going to use that. And then we're going to add three tablespoons, uh, sorry, three quarters of a cup of plain old water. And add that right in there. And we're just going to start mixing this. You can see this is starting to come together nicely. And you just want to get this mixed into a nice ball. Okay, so once you have this all mixed together, we're going to turn this out onto a floured surface. Alright, so we're just going to get this right out of here. And you want to make sure you have nice clean hands because we are going to need this a little bit until this dough is nice and smooth. We want this to be nice and smooth. If you have to add a little extra flour, that is fine. But you want a nice smooth dough. You don't want it to be sticky at all, so you should get that consistency. It's still sticking to my hand a little. We're going to add a little bit more flour, just a teeny bit, spread it all around. Alright, so this is starting to feel really good right here. Okay, so this dough is nice and smooth. So we are going to let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so this has been resting for about 10 minutes. We're just going to take this and divide it up into eight pieces. And this shouldn't rise at all. It doesn't have any flour in it. Uh, it shouldn't rise at all because it doesn't have any yeast in it. It definitely has flour. And 
then the resting, when you let it rest, it's just helping it so you can roll it out more smooth and flat. So this is going to give you eight tortillas. We're going to put a little bit more flour down. And we're going to roll these little bad boys out. And we want to roll them out into like seven inch circles, about seven inches. You want them nice and flat. Want some flour on your rolling pin. You just keep flipping them. You want to get them as round as you can. And you want them nice and flat. And these are not going to be perfect circles here at my house because, you know, you do what you can. Okay, so once you've got these rolled out, you can start heating up your cast iron skillet. Make sure it's greased well and heat it up to a medium heat. Okay, so once you've got your pan heated up, you want it nice and hot for this on a medium heat and greased really well. And then we're going to just lay our little tortilla right in there. And we're only going to cook these about one minute and then we're going to flip them over. And I am just using a little bit of the organic um, coconut oil just to grease the pan. And you'll start to see um, little kind of like bubbles. <clears throat> you want it to get a little brown on each side. Okay, so after about a minute, you're gonna, you can see it's drying right up. We're just going to flip this right over and cook the other side. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but there are little teeny bubbles in here. And you want to give it a flip, and you just want to brown up that first side again. You start to see those little bubbles, and you can see it's swelling up here, and it'll get a little bumpy, but that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so once you see they're starting to brown, they are done. That's it. This is super simple. So we're just going to go ahead and get the next one in. All right, so there you have it. Eight flour tortillas ready to go. You can use them with your tacos, wrap them up and make some enchiladas. They're just perfect. They're great for wraps. They roll up really nicely and they're quite yummy. Mmm. All right, that's it. Go make some tacos. Bye.